continue. So, what did you do yesterday? We know yesterday is over, okay? It's in the past. So, it's an action that has already finished and that you're not going to do anymore. Now, let's continue. I'm going to show you. Let me do this smaller there. Okay. We're going to see present simple and past simple. First of all, let me, okay, wait. Let me put the slide complete, okay? First of all, I want you to look at the bottom part right here. We have present simple. I want to, this to go away. Okay, present simple. It is used to talk about an action which happens on a regular basis, okay? For example, I play soccer. She studies for the exam and they travel to Cancun. We can see this is in the present, but there. But for example, if I play soccer, maybe I play soccer every week or maybe I play soccer every day or maybe I play soccer once a month. Either way, I do it constantly. I do it on a regular basis. And then she studies for the exam. I have to study for exams every three months, for example. So every three months, I will do that activity. So it happens on a regular basis too. And they travel to Cancun. Maybe you travel with your family every summer or maybe you travel every winter or every six months, okay? So, it's an activity you do on a regular basis. On the other hand, past simple, let's look at the definition. The action is simply mentioned and understood to have taken place in the past. Like you said, yesterday you started, you drew, you watched movies, okay? But you don't know for sure if you're going to do it again, okay? Because it already happened. So for example, I played soccer yesterday. The ED shows us that it's in the past. And yesterday, it's a time in the past which is already over. I'm not sure if tomorrow I will play soccer but I'm sure that yesterday I played soccer, okay? She studied for the exam. We have ED. She studied for the exam, okay? And they traveled to Cancun. We don't know if they're going to travel to Cancun again, but we know they traveled on a past, on a past tense, okay? So, this is the difference. I'm going to explain it thoroughly so you can understand better. Let me close this, okay? Let's move on. Okay, so we have some examples. First, Maria bakes a cake, okay? She is doing it right now, or she does it every Monday, okay? She bakes a cake. In past, it would be, Maria baked a cake yesterday, okay? The ED in yesterday tells us it's in the past. Let's see this one. David talks to his mom. He is talking to his mom right now. Or he talks to her every Monday. Or he talks to her every weekend. David talked to his mom. Maybe David is out of town, he is maybe in New York, and he talked to his mom yesterday, or he talked an hour ago, so it's in the past, okay? The ED tells us it's in the past. Now, let's look at this chart, okay? Where's my, there. Okay, we have past simple regular verbs, okay? First of all, look at this part in here. We have the verb to walk. Sorry for my writing, I'm doing my best. Okay, the verb to walk. So in past, 
I walked, you walked, he walked, she walked, it walked, we walked, you walked, and they walked. Okay? So, the affirmative form to do, to transform a verb into past tense. These are the rules, okay? To make the past simple for regular verbs, we add ed, just like here, okay? We add ed. Walk, walked. If the verb ends with the letter e, we just add d. For example, the verb like ends in e. So we just add letter d, okay? And it changes to liked in past. On the other hand, if the verb ends with a consonant and the Y, we change the Y to I and add ED. For example, the verb studied. Imagine you have your verb in present. We have study, okay? It ends on a consonant, D, and it ends on Y. So what I'm going to do is take off Y, add I, and add ED, okay? And last but not least, if the verb has a short vowel sound and a consonant, we double the consonant and add ED. This means the verb stop. The verb stop only has one syllable and it's a short word, okay? And you only have one vowel. So what we're going to do is we're going to double the, the last letter. Stop, I double the letter and then I'm going to add E, D, okay? So these are the basic rules.